I think my printer is finally on the way. I think Yuffie Make has finally sent me my printer. The only thing is it's not showing up on their tracking sheet and they've not sent me a tracking number. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Sarah and this is my studio. So for the last month, two months, I've been doing intermittent check-ins with Yuffie Make and the E1 printer and how we're all kind of eager to get it and we've been dealing with all of these delays. Well, we're finally getting to the point where they're actually getting them shipped out and it sounds like at least based on their most recent update, that potentially at least all of the Kickstarter backers are likely to be shipped out by the end of February. But one of the things that they had done on a previous update was create a tracking sheet where you could see the status of your update. And then they also mentioned that they would ship tracking numbers to your email once things were ready. Well, I got an email a couple of weeks ago saying that they finally had 410 of them stateside and that I should be expecting mine to be shipped shortly. However, I still hadn't seen any tracking information, but I happen to remember a hack that I had used on a previous package that I was tracking down, and I think my items are finally being shipped. So let me show you what I mean. So over here on the Kickstarter page, we've got the update that they posted earlier this week. Now it says that last week they shipped 1300 of the E1 units as well as a thousand sets of ink and that production is moving forward steadily and they have kind of listed the numbers that they've done before. So in addition to the thousand they had shipped the week before, they've gotten into, they've added on 1300. And then they've got some additional information here. 500 ink sets are currently in transit and 98% of add-on kits and materials have arrived at local warehouses and are ready to be paired with your printer. So this little note here makes me think that some of the add-ons and material kits, like for instance, in my case, the rotary attachment is probably being shipped with the machine, which would explain what I tracked down here and that I'll show you just a minute. But finishing up over here, their goal is to try and get their output to literally up to 500 units per day with the goal of getting all of the U.S. and Canadian backers, all of them produced and shipped out by early February. And then the rest of the world, they're starting to ship mid-January with 100% of the units produced and shipped by mid-February. So that would suggest that we're finally on track. It's taken a few months and of course they've had, you know, some issues with ink and all of that, but it sounds like They've gotten everything ironed out and they really are trying to ramp up production and all of that. With that information, I would assume then that we would start seeing more information in the little order tracker sheet that they've shown. But when I go over here and I take a look at my little order tracker, it says that my rotary attachment and my printer are ready to ship, but there's no tracking number. And for that matter, my rotary attachment should have arrived a good week ago and I haven't seen it. It's been pointed out on a couple of different places, namely some of the Facebook pages that we most people don't think this is accurate and it's being updated correctly and you should really expect to get an email with your tracking number. And Yuffie Make had also stated that in their email that you should be getting a tracking number telling you this information. But at this point, I have yet to see a tracking number. And yes, I checked my spam folder. It's not in there either. And I know I'm getting information from them because I got an email saying you should be expecting, you know, shipping information. So the question becomes, where is this information? Now it's entirely possible they may not have gotten around to sending me my tracking information at this point, but there might be a way to track down your tracking information, even if you haven't seen an email with a tracking number yet. So I remember this trick from about a year ago when I was waiting on some medication to be delivered and the company had told me in their email, you know, we plan on sending you a tracking number, but just in case, because sometimes things can get lost, download the FedEx and UPS apps on your phone, which will automatically update any tracking information regard in regards to packages that are being sent to your address. Knowing that information, I clicked open the FedEx app on my phone and discovered that I had two new tracking labels listed here, both of which coming out of basically California. Now there's two tracking numbers listed. One of these says that the package weighs about three pounds. When I go into the other one, it says that it weighs closer to 59 pounds. 
Now, short of my UV printer and the rotary attachment, I don't have anything that I'm expecting to be coming via FedEx at this point. I do have a accessory unit from a third party company that they wanted me to test out in relation to this machine. I can't really give any additional information at this point, but I can tell you at least based on the email, it looks like it's a really cool accessory and I will most likely post a review and more information about it later in January. But at best I can figure is that these two tracking numbers are the tracking numbers for my printer and the rotary attachment and that they are finally at least have tracking information created, which means I think they are going to be shipped and hopefully I will be getting the machine soon. So if your order shipping status page is like mine where it's stuck and there's no information being updated and you haven't noticed an email, might try downloading the FedEx app and for that matter, even the UPS app because I don't know if they're using one service versus the other, but you might try doing that and seeing if a shipping label has been created. From what I can gather, at least from a couple of people in the Facebook group is that some people, their devices are just sort of showing up unexpectedly. So this might be a way to actually track the number down. I know not everybody wants to add on an additional app to their phone, but it's free. I don't even remember if I had to create an account. You probably do, but regardless, it's at least a way to try and track your devices down. I do wanna just take a minute and thank all of you who have joined me this past year, watching my videos, keeping up with things and have subscribed to my channel. I really am just absolutely blown away by the level of growth I had this year. The channel is just over two and a half years old and I remember on January 1st of 2024, I had 16 subscribers. And at the end of this year, well over 9,000 of you have decided to hit the subscribe button and say, hey, I like your content, this is cool, and I wanna make sure you show up in my YouTube feed. As a girl who spent most of her life struggling to make friends, to know that there's no over 9,000 people interested in me and at least wants to see my content, not trying to create a parasocial relationship there, but it's just absolutely mind blowing. I couldn't have done content on this channel without your guys' support and feedback and motivation. And I hope to keep creating things for you guys. If there's anything specific that you wanna see me do this year, by all means, leave a comment below. I love taking ideas from the community and trying to be able to bring them to life. I do know I will have at least one product review to do this year, potentially a second one, I don't know. How do you guys feel about seeing DTF film printers? That's kind of something that's been sort of proposed and tipped to my direction, but I really wanted to get your guys' feedback on it if that was something you would be interested in seeing. Also my goal this year is to also try and do a little more art creation as well. That way I can kind of bring more projects to life, more of my own designs, and then of course how I go about doing them on all sorts of devices, whether it's 3D printing or laser cutting or, you know, UV printing as well, once my machine finally gets here. There's some other projects that I'm sure I'm going to review and test out on the channel. One of them being this new coloring system that is currently on Kickstarter for a couple more days. It's called um, WooColor. It's a different way to sort of do designs on the bamboo printers with multiple colors. There's this awesome print that you can find on Maker World. I'll leave a link to it as well that creates this really cool design. I know it's a Christmas design, it's after Christmas, but this is a completely flat design completely flat design and the colors were created using a combination of CMYK as well as RGB filament. I'm really impressed with these results and I can't wait to get a hold of this software. And if you're interested in doing techniques like this, I would definitely look into it. In the meantime, if you wanna see more content like this, by all means, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. Also, if you could tap the like button to tell the Eldritch algorithm that this video was a good one and I will see you guys next time. Bye.